What I've discovered in the clinical setting is that students sometimes have trouble in keeping up with report when that's been given to them. So here are a few exercises that will help you prepare and get familiar with taking report and medical abbreviations so that you can be faster in charting those, that information down and then also become more used to using these medical abbreviations. These are just suggestions, but it'll help you get faster and get a better understanding of how handoff is performed. Mr. Smith in room 502 is a 78 year old male who had an ORIF of the left hip two days ago. He fell while he was walking his dog because he tripped over the leash. Uh, past medical history includes hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, osteoarthritis. He is a smoker and he says he drinks about one to two beers every night. His medications are his regular home medications. In addition, he's getting Lovenox 40 milligram sub QBID which is due at 2100, and then Percocet for pain. He usually takes one pill, and the last dose I gave him was at 1430 with some pretty good relief. He's ANO times four, his lungs are clear, his belly is soft, he's eating well, he voids in his urinal, he's up with PT. I saw him walk down the hall for a few steps and he did pretty well. Surgical side to the left hip, uh, has a dressing, is clean, dry, and intact. He has an IV saline lock to the left forearm, 20 gauge, that looks, looks good. He's uh, on a diabetic diet, and like I said, he's been eating well. Blood sugars for me were 106, 189, and 153, so I didn't give him any dinner coverage. So what needs to be done for him? So PRN pain meds, he can have it again, uh, six hours, so at 8.30. Uh, get him up with PT, you might wanna get him up to sit um, and watch TV at night and he's actually able to call for assistance in case he needs anything. Any questions?